Welcome everyone. Thank you for those who are here for coming. I'm not sure where everybody else is, but it's lovely to see all of you here. Uh, our theme today is global hunger and the struggle for justice. And uh, Hannah is going to be speaking to us. I haven't seen Hannah for ages. And it's really lovely to see you again. Years and years ago, I remember Hannah when she was probably Tali's age. And you won't remember, but sitting by your pond looking at frogs. And, and when we have tiny, tiny, tiny little girl. And it makes me feel very, very old. <laughs> so it's great to welcome you back here. And uh, thank you, Hannah, for coming. Last time when we met, we brought food for the food bank. And the food bank have written to us and said thank you. And the amount of food that we gave has provided 104 meals, they estimate. So thank you, everyone. And the food bank collection point continues here in the church for you. So, so do always feel uh, free to bring food and pop it in the basket in the church for you. Great to see you all. Um, so yeah, around the world, um, there's definitely more than enough food that is produced that, for everyone to consume. But unfortunately, we, we have a situation where there's a, a huge number of people that don't have access to food, either because they can't afford it or because it's not available. And currently, there are 811 million people in the world who go hungry every day. That's almost one in nine people in the entire world. This map shows the sort of distribution of hunger, so the, the reds and the oranges are the countries that have severe issues with, with people who can't access uh, food and have uh, high levels of hunger and malnutrition. Um, and although hunger was declining across the world in re like over the last sort of 10 years, we have seen that hunger is on the rise again. Um, and now almost 10% of the world's population are suffering from hunger. Um, and in even more recent years, from 2019 to 2020, and the trend is continuing into 2021, the number of people who are hungry and malnourished has, has grown um, to as many as a by as many as 161 million. And this is mostly driven by increased conflict, poverty, um, and most recently the COVID pandemic, which has meant people are uh, not able to access food and a lot of supply chains have been disrupted. And the main causes of hunger, man-made conflict, um, wars and, and uh, political crisis is the, the, the main driver. Also poverty, uh, economic downturns, um, climate change, natural disasters, and like I mentioned, the COVID pandemic. Um, and hunger is really a, a cycle. So if, if one, one family member suffers from hunger and malnutrition this is passed down to future generations so families that struggle with chronic hunger and malnutrition consistently go without the nutrients that they need um, to sustain their minds and their bodies um, are then plagued with illnesses development issues disabilities low productivity and this has an impact on their children and their children's children and actually hunger hunger and malnutrition are the biggest risk to health worldwide um, undernutrition, which is lack of food, so hunger, is uh, the cause of 45% of deaths among children under five. And um, food, lack of food, food deprivation, claims a child's life every three seconds globally. Um, and unfortunately, as I mentioned before, COVID has made the situation much worse. Um, today, 41 million people are on the brink of famine, and that's increased from 27 million in 2019, so a, a huge increase. Um, and the, the, the main countries where this is uh, being affected is Afghanistan, Ethiopia, Madagascar, Haiti, Honduras, uh, South Sudan, Uganda, Venezuela, Yemen, just to name a few. But yeah, famine is really becoming a, a very big issue in, in many countries.
So yeah, you can see from that video, we're all very lucky that we can enjoy all of these different types of food, but a lot of people in the world aren't able to, to, to eat this, to, to have this choice of food, and this is where the World Food Programme comes in. energy biscuits, specialised nutritious food, um, which it hands out directly during uh, in the immediate impact, immediate aftermath of an emergency. And WFP staff are on call to be deployed within 24 hours of an emergency. Um, but also incre increasingly WFP is moving away from just giving out food, um, uh, food distributions, food packets. Um, and it's also working with governments to provide vouchers or cash to um, people in need so that they can uh, choose which food they would like to buy and sustain the local economy and, and, and shops that are there. And the idea with that really is to um, help boost local economies and also to, to provide some dignity to, to people who are in need. The kind of fasting I want is this. Remove the chains of oppression and the yoke of injustice and let the oppressed go free. Share your food with the hungry and open your homes to the homeless poor. Give clothes to those who have nothing to wear and do not refuse to help your own relatives. If you give food to the hungry and satisfy those who are in need, then the darkness around you will turn to the brightness of noon. And I will always guide you and satisfy you with good things. I will keep you strong and well. You will be like a garden that has plenty of water, like a spring that never runs dry. Of poverty is born, 
a dream that will not die and landless weary folk find strength to stand with heads held high it's then we learn from those who wait to greet the promised day the lord is coming don't lose heart be blessed prepare the way Forget to share the bread. They find their wealth an empty thing. Their spirits are not fed. For only just and tender love, the hungry soul will stay. And so God's prophets echo still, be blessed, prepare the way. When the Son of Man comes as King, and all the angels with him, he will sit on his royal throne, and the people of all the nations will be gathered before him. Then he will divide them into two groups, just as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the righteous people on his right, and the others on his left. Then the King will say to the people on his right, Come, you that are blessed by my Father, Come and possess the kingdom which has been prepared for you ever since the creation of the world. I was hungry, and you fed me. Thirsty, and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger, and you received me in your homes. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you took care of me. In prison, and you visited me. Loving and mighty God, we thank you for this morning's service, for Hannah coming to share with us and speak about the World Food Programme, and we pray for all those who are working to combat the growing food crisis. We pray for international aid agencies and local community organisations, and in particular we pray for those in power. May the leaders of the nations act with wisdom and compassion, bringing relief to those suffering even now and moving us towards a world without hunger. And we pray for our sisters and brothers caught up in a cycle of drought and hunger, 
if a parent struggling to find food, seeing their children go hungry. Think of farmers seeing their crops fail and their livestock die. And we pray for ourselves. Thinking of that last reading that we heard where Jesus spoke about putting our faith into practice. And so we pray that we may share generously from the abundance that you have given to us and join our voices with those who call for an end to poverty, that lives may be saved and rebuilt with hope for the future. And we also pray for those who hunger in this land, whose only kitchen is a soup kitchen, whose only food is that which others don't really want, whose diet depends on luck rather than planning. Lord, feed your people using our skills, our conscience, and eradicate from our politics and private lives the apathy to hunger that comes from overeating. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We say the Lord's Prayer together. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. This love.